Thank you, Brian. Now, for many years, doctors have touted the positive effects of taking folic acid during pregnancy, but now a new study is backing it up, and researchers have found folic acid could be one very important tool in fighting autism. NBC 26's Brooke Haves has more in your morning health coverage. Yes, Jennifer, there is a brand new research about this dietary supplement pregnant women take and how it influences the risk for autism. Doctors advise pregnant women to take 400 micrograms of folic acid every day. It's a proven method of reducing their baby's risk for serious birth defects like spina bifida. And now, an apparent added benefit. If you're on folic acid, you may reduce the risk of having a child with autism. Researchers in Norway followed 85,000 children for six years. They found women who took folic acid supplements before they got pregnant and during their first trimester lowered their baby's risk of developing autism by 40 percent. Experts in the field call this link between nutrition and autism a landmark finding. But it's just one piece of a complicated puzzle of genetic and environmental factors that influence autism development. This does not prevent autism. There were women in this study who took prenatal folic acid and went on to have a child affected with autism. Our food supply is fortified with folic acid, but experts say many women may not be getting enough in their diet to make a difference. And they say there's no downside to taking the supplements. To me, this is a no-brainer. It's a win-win proposition. It's good for the mother, it's good for the fetus. And you can't ask for anything better than that. Now, in addition to supplements and fortified breads and cereals, folic acid is found naturally in dark green leafy vegetables. Jennifer? All right.